Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Nugget of Truth time with Pastor Matt on a beautiful Friday morning. This is Nugget of Truth number 400. Now, listen, we're we're not going to go forever, but we didn't know we'd go this long either. So, anyways, Nugget of Truth number 400. That's crazy. All right, here we go. This one is on pride. There's an interesting passage. Proverbs 16.5 says this. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. The word detest is a pretty serious word. But I detest something. That get your attention. So, this is what the devotional has to say. Our world honors pride. We often give the most media attention to those who demand it. Athletes make arrogant claims and then are lauded for their competitiveness Entertainers shamelessly promote their own image, then are praised for their confidence. Political and military leaders proudly wield their power over vulnerable people and are rewarded for their assertiveness. Making a name for oneself is an honorable business in worlds in the world's culture. I think all that's true today more than ever, I guess. We might easily be drawn into that philosophy if we don't continue to remind ourselves of God's hatred, hatred is a big word, hatred for pride. It is a consistent biblical theme. Pride is repulsive. It directs glory inward instead of upward. It gives the honor of the gifted, it gives the honor of the gifted rather than the honor of the giver. It is far too impressed it is far too impressed with the ingenuity and resourcefulness of human abilities. In its very essence, it ignores God. That's quite a phrase. Pride ignores God. If we want to avoid it, we must always honor him. We must honor his hatred of it. That's hard to do. Pride is the foundation of the self-will, which is the ultimate foundation behind every sin. Oh my gosh, think about that. Pride is the foundation of self-will, which is the ultimate foundation behind every sin. It is deeply ingrained in us. We hate it in others, but we wallow in it when we're allowed to. Whenever a little glory comes our way, we think as though it's the sweetest thirst cruncher. But like other sweets, it has, it has little substance. Eventually, no amount of honor will cover the fact that we're needy on the inside. Something deep within us craves glory, but deeper, but something deeper reminds us that we aren't worthy of it. The depth of our souls knows that God is the only worthy recipient of praise. Well, maybe I read a little bit too much today, um, but pride is the foundation of the self-will and is the ultimate foundation behind every sin. Pride is what happens and in essence, it, it, it's us ignoring God. And it's a constant biblical theme. Um, it gives honor to the gifted rather than the honor to the giver. So, pride. It's not where. It's how much. All of us have to deal with it. All right. Take care. God bless. Bye.